I guess it's kind of like in me, you know, just to cook. And I remember just being a kid and watching my uncles cook and my Uncle Joe cooking and playing with spices. And so I just started doing my research and just started making my own blends. And I just decided I can do this. My name is Shabria. The name of my company is Continental Flavor. I was working as a nursing assistant and going to school to be a nurse at the same time. I felt good about the nursing assistant position. There was times where I'm just like, oh, I wanted to pull my hair out. What I enjoyed the most was helping people who were unable to help themselves. And then the pandemic hit, so I didn't have a choice but to leave my job because I had no childcare for my daughter. It's hard trying to find childcare for someone during these times, so I was just like, I had to quit. When I had the freedom during the pandemic, when I wasn't working and I was being a stay at home, a stay at home mom, um, I had a kind of like work trauma. I know some people like don't believe it, it's real, but I just experienced a lot of racism at a lot of jobs that I've had in my life. Like a lot of clicking up, just unfair treatment in general. I was like, you know what? I, I, this is more motivation for me to start my own because I know that when I do become a boss, like I know how I would want to run my business. I know how I would want to treat people. And also I just kept thinking like, what am I leaving behind for my daughter? Like, what am I setting up for her? One day I was like, I got to figure out what I want to do. And I called my sister and she's like, well, Brie, why don't you just start do seasonings out of the blue? And I'm like, seasonings, what? And she's like, yeah, you know you cook and you know you're a damn good cook. Got off the phone with her. Within a week later, I already had everything down for my seasons that I wanted. How's everything? How's the business going? Going good. Just tired. I like giving it to people to test out and I like the feedback from other people when they have tried my spice blends. I'm halfway done and you just sent it. Really? Hi, good morning. I'm just trying to see, um, I'm hoping to get some, order some labels. Yes, 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 yes. Seeing your business, something that you made, your brand on paper, seeing it like when it's realistic, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like surreal. I thought I was gonna play an arm and a leg, but it's way cheaper than what it said it was online. So I'm super happy. It saved me a lot of money. You have to keep up with just budgeting, you know, especially if you don't start off being the richest person, everything that I've done has come out of my pocket. No grants, no tuition, no funding or anything. So it's not easy at all. Check out Continental Flavors, guys. They joined us today at the market. Once I started going to like my first market and I seen how amazing I did and I was like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> This is it. It just changed my whole outlook to it. And I knew that this was really my purpose. What goes through my mind when I'm sitting at the table? I'm just thinking, I hope somebody buys my products. <laughs> Second thing is just don't be nervous. Psyching myself up to talk to others, promote my product. But you have to just root for yourself, honestly. No one else is gonna be there rooting for me. I'm gonna do it by myself because I had no choice but to do everything by myself. It can be a lot, I'm not gonna lie. First you get them to laugh, then you get them to listen. My daughter, she's so proud of me. I don't believe in education. I want to show her black women are incredible. So always feel inspired. Don't let anyone make you feel like you're less than. And not to sleep on your dreams. Give me kisses, hugs, I love you. My fear is that maybe I won't accomplish everything that I want to, but I know that I will. My fear is that I won't get it done quick enough. <laughs> That's it.